How do explosions injure people? There are several ways that an explosion can cause harm to a person. When an explosion occurs, several things happen all at once. Injuries result from any combination of the forces that we will be discussing later. Factors that affect how badly a person is injured during an explosion include the size or force of the explosion, how far the person is from the explosion, and what objects are around the person at the time of the blast. First, explosions result in a pressure wave or blast wave. This is like a very powerful sound wave that is made by the air around the explosion being pushed away at an incredible speed. If you have ever been to a rock concert, you may have felt the sound waves from the stage thumping through your body. This magnified several hundreds or even thousands of times is like the blast wave from a large explosion. The blast wave itself can cause harm to the human body. Organs like the brain, intestine, liver, kidneys, or lungs can be damaged by this pressure wave. The internal damage to these organs can even occur without any signs of injury at all on the outside of the body. Concussions can result, as well as internal bleeding or rupture of the intestines. The blast wave alone can be enough to kill a person. The eardrums are oftentimes ruptured by the blast wave from explosions. Depending on the power of the blast and how far away the victim is, permanent hearing loss or deafness can result. Next, a person can be injured from being thrown by the blast. When the explosion occurs, the blast wave can throw a person with great force, even lifting them up off the ground. The person can then hit an object like a wall, a car, or a tree. People thrown by explosions can hit with force just like a car crash, and many types of injuries can result. Broken bones, head injury, and even internal bleeding can result from hitting objects after an explosion. When something explodes, pieces of debris get picked up and thrown along with the blast wave. Whatever material is thrown by the explosion, it can cause serious injury or death when it hits a person. These pieces of material are called secondary projectiles and can be metal, glass, rocks, wood, or any other object near the explosion. For example, military grenades are designed to throw small pieces of metal when they explode. When a car bomb explodes, pieces of the car are thrown at remarkable speeds. If a person is inside a building when the bomb goes off outside, flying glass can become very dangerous as a secondary projectile. In some explosions, the victim's body can be hit by hundreds of small secondary projectiles. Several experts think that secondary projectiles are the most dangerous part of an explosion and cause the most deaths. Next, people can get burned in an explosion. The explosion itself is, of course, extremely hot, but fires started by the explosion itself also result. For example, when a roadside bomb goes off and a military vehicle gets hit, the gas tank of the vehicle can explode also, resulting in massive fires. Anything near the explosion can also catch on fire. Victims of explosions almost always have burns. Finally, explosions can cause what is called inhalation injury. When something explodes and the temperatures in the explosions are very high, Dangerous gases can be breathed in by the victims of the explosion. Thick, noxious smoke can damage the victim's lungs. In industrial accidents, harmful chemicals released by the explosions can be very dangerous when inhaled. So there are several ways which a person can be hurt by an explosion. No two blast injuries are the same. Sometimes people have such different injury patterns that it just does not seem to make sense. One person can be killed or severely injured, 
and the person sitting right next to them can be relatively unharmed. The forces at work in an explosion are very complicated and unpredictable.